When electricians upgraded the electric grid in my house, which was installed over 60 years ago, they were horrified. Stuff wasn't grounded and a lot of stuff was switched on. Oh yeah. No, no, seriously. Old, old houses. Like modern, like, like, uh, people who've gone through their training in the like last decade. If you look at a, an old house, they'd be like, how did I just don't, what, how did they even build this without dying? Much less people live in it for like a hundred years without dying. In before, <laughs> they didn't. This is why the death rate was so high back in the, in the, like 70 years ago. It's because everyone was living in houses that were built a hundred years ago. <laughs> But does everyone have uh, a solid intel on the way the the armor works? Is it literally just like you know every point? Like when you look at a ship, you see a, uh, an overlay. You can see where the armor has been eroded. It's just like every square, five hundred worth of damage absorption, depending on the on the damage coming in, because some of it is more effective, some of it less, so on and so forth. Yeah, here we have a picture of your house's wiring. Pictures of spaghetti. Yeah, pretty much. Basically, maybe maybe if I was a bigger bigger YouTube presence, the electricians might be talking to the to the prospective clients. Well, you know, I I would like to to do this for cheap, but unfortunately, it's going to cost a lot to rewire your house because it looks like Avac was playing Factorio in the wiring. That that's gonna that's like that's like the the the, the level of uh, fame, probably infamy, would be the better one. That's where I want to be. Okay. <laughs> Household name. Don't touch that wiring in that house. It looks like Avac wired it. Here's Angiri. Thank you so much for the 65 months, mate. Armor in this game is powered by dark magic. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with that. All right, then. Well, uh, hardened subsystems, maybe but don't really feel we need it. Hull integrity, probably a worthwhile one. Um, that's going to increase it by 40%. That's a hell of an increase for this one. Um, it also makes it significantly easier to recover. Um, this would just give me a flat increase to the rate. So increases the ship's flux dissipation by 30 points. It might be useful just to try and compensate for the fact that my flux dissipation is reduced by 20% here, so I'd have to spend thir 8 points. Well, actually, you know, 20%, not uh, not 20 points, but... Armor is a bit complicated in Star Sector. Armor is localized with each cell having the initial armor rating and getting degraded individually. Yeah, no, that's what I that's what I was I was talking about. It isn't like five hundred armor for the whole ship. It's five hundred per cell on the on the kind of uh, overlay grid you can see in combat. Um, and armor works non-linearly as well. Hit strength is reduced by armor by a factor of damage against armor. Oh, right. So the thicker the armor, the less damage the armor is going to take. But as you wear it down, the quicker you're going to burrow through the remaining armor. Now that that. Doesn't seem complicated. That actually seems fairly sensible. And this is probably why I get on with Aurora. Because if you try to work out how armor is going to protect something in Aurora, ah, uh, you need you you need graphs. Right, so this weapon is going to have this damage profile against the armor. This weapon is going to have this damage profile against the armor. We're not talking numbers, we're talking about the shape, the pattern of the distributed kinetic energy when it impacts the armor. Ah, uh, truly, Aurora and armor. So good. But so, so complicated. All right, well, we'll pump that up. Um, blast doors to inc to increase hull integrity even more might be useful. Auxiliary thrusters increases the ship's maneuverability by 50%, which would be actually quite nice. Uh, do I have that information here? Maneuverability. No. Uh, sadly. Uh, no, we don't have any of that. But that's fine. Uh, I am going to need more vents, so let's just dump these in there. Uh, sorry, more capacitors. Each one of these adds how much? Oh, actually, it's quite a lot. Each one of these. 
Like, like, does it have tell you how much it'll it'll add to it? Oh yeah, it does right there. So is it, each one of these is adding. Um, oh no, maximum capacitors there. Sorry, each capacitor adds one ordinance point and increases flux capacity by two hundred. Oh, so it's the same across everything. So one point for a frigate is exactly the same. Okay, fair enough. Uh, well then, this one is really not going to be that useful. Well, actually, it's the equivalent of five ordinance points with the capacitors. So. No, sorry, six. Still, it's less effective than doing it this way. Is there anything else I could add in that I would want to add in? Armored weapon mounts would give us a little bit more armor as well. But it would decrease the turret turn rate. Is there anything else? Could go with the blast doors. I don't think we're going to need peak operating time extended. Additional berthing for more crew might not be a terrible thing, but I don't think we need it. I think, honestly, getting some more maneuverability on this would be okay, so it can turn a little bit faster. What kind of shield does it have? What's the shield arc? 300. Turning isn't necessarily going to be that great, but it does have two main guns that have to be facing its opponent. So since it's main weapons, like these ones have got nice big arcs and they can rotate, but these ones are much more fixed weapon mounts. So having the auxiliary thrusters might be decent. That being said, considering my main weapons don't need to turn, losing 25% turn rate doesn't really hurt. And if I'm, if this, because the hammerhead is probably going to be facing its opponent, so the weapons at the front are going to be taking the brunt of the damage. So, yeah, actually, no, we're going to go with that one. I think that was uh, the better, better um, setup there. All right. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. You can set up weapon crews as well. Uh, I'll, sure, I'll have them link the light mortars. Uh, no, actually, I would like them to be alternating. No, the, the first one should be should be linked, I think. But the mortars, they can fire in an alternating pattern. Yeah. Since these ones are always going to be facing the same way, just fire both. And it gives you a better chance of at least one hitting, but these ones were, are fine with an alternation. Okay, I think that's good. Confirm. Actually, make, let's make sure that that is on automated. All right. Now time for us to strip you down and to properly set you up. Let's have a look at what auto fits we've got. Support, strike, um, attack, broadsword heavy fighter wings, piranha bomber wings, or talent interceptor wings. So that this one's more for taking out enemy fighters and missiles. All right, what fighters do we have? Let's look at only the owned. Uh, we've got a mix. So I've got a Talon Interceptor, fast and cheap. The Talon supports surprising, uh, sorry, sports surprising firepower, and it's capable of dispatching enemy fighters. It also deals appreciable damage to larger ships when used en masse, though use, such use usually results in heavy pilot losses. It's got a Swarmer SRM launcher and a Vulcan cannon. Here's the Swarmer. Here's the Vulcan. So the Vulcan's decent against hull. The Swarmer is great against armor, but it hasn't really got shield punching abilities. Broadsword Tough and Agile. The broadsword carries a decoy flare launcher that draws defensive fire away from high-value targets like bombers and their payloads. However, it can falter if faced uh, with the need to deal killing blow itself. Has light machine guns. I mean, they're okay against shields. It'll help pull that down for the Piranha Bomber, which could then drop some uh, some hefty damage against it. Don't worry, we will be going on a tea break just as soon as I finished equipping these ships. Because that's going to give everyone a chance while I'm away, you see. I will drop the keyword that Nightbot is going to be selecting from into chat. And that means that uh, the tea break can also double as time for you to possibly get naming game. All right, Piranha Bomber deploys unpowered conventional bombs en masse, relying on momentum to deliver the payloads. The maximum damage potential is extreme, but most targets can either avoid or shoot down many of the bombs. So I would say the Broadsword Heavy Fighters, along with the Piranha Bombers, are a good way to, to go with this one. 
Krupa Fighter 1, Krupa Fighter 2 here. So uh, we're going to need six, nine crew in total. We've got a medium missile turret. A small ballistic turret there. And a small ballistic turret here, but forward facing only. The medium missile turret. What are we going to go with? <sighs> All right. Got the annihilator rocket pods. Fires a stream of unguided rockets, useful for dealing with enemy armor or, due to having no flux cost, applying sustained pressure. Salamander, uh, but it's that's the only medium I've got. You know what? Let's have a look at what I could buy. No mediums there. What about here? Sabo SRM pod. Limited ammo. Limited ammo of 100 here. It does 200 versus armor, 52 shields. Please, whatever you do, don't use the piranha. They suck so much. Yeah, I don't have much other option. Oh, well, actually, I do. I do. I do. That's, that's a lie. Let's have a look at what I could buy. Uh, no bombers there. What about here? No. I don't have any anything that can bomb. Also, 12,000 credits. Oh, it's midline. That makes sense. So I've got one fighter, basically. Or heavy fighter and a bomber. I don't have another bomb option, so. Yeah, but those fighters are expensive. I'm going to be piloting this ship. So we'll see what we can do. I mean, I could just roll with, with extra interceptors or something, but... Uh, or more heavy fighters, really. Um, tough and agile, the broadsword carries a decoy flare launch, blah, 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 blah. I mean, that would be able to help me a little bit. But realistically, I'm not I'm not super into this one. Damn it, now I want soup. I have no soup at home. Why do you do this to me, chat? Oh, unspeakable. You read chat while hungry? You fool. You poor, poor fool. Right, we're going to stick with this. I do want bombers for now. Uh, what's the Sabo SRMs? We've only got 12 shots with a 200% damage shield, 50 versus armor. Fires a second stage uh, attack. Um, 200 times 2 times 5. EMP damage 200 times 2 times 5 because it launches 2 at a time. I think we can go with the Sabo SRM on this. Rather than the Annihilator rocket pod I have. I mean, it does 200 damage, but... And it's 400 damage per second. Well, I don't have a pair of salamanders. That's the thing. No way it has a medium. I mean, I could just stick the small salamander on it, I guess, but... But you are right. The The objective of this, this weapons platform is not to be in a fight. We want to be far, far from the fight. Um, what's the name of the nuke missile? Uh, I think it's like uh, a something, Armageddon missile or something like that. Reaper. Oh, Re Reaper. It's completely different from what I thought then. Um, we can have the railgun. It's got a range of 700. Range of 700 here. Flux per shot, 40. Flux per shot, 90 here. Um, this is anti-shield. This is anti-shield. They're both more or less the same. Accuracy is medium. Accuracy here is perfect. Basically, if you shoot it, it's going to hit it. I'll take that one. And then down here as well. Sadly, we, there is not a second railgun, so it's going to have to be just a light auto cannon. All right, so it really comes down to, are we rolling with the Salamander chat, or are we going to buy the Sabo SRM pod? Does anyone miss 1F Jeff's epic rants against soup? I miss his streams. Jeff still streams now and then, Pete. Not not that frequently anymore, sadly, but 
What's the jobs of our fighters? I've got one heavy fighter and one bomber wing. Ideally, the heavy fighters will draw a fire away from the bomber wing so they can deploy the bombs. You vote Pelium, Pelium Medium Missile? Do I even have that? I do not. Chat, chat, please. Please only vote things that I can actually have. It's useless you just throwing out your, your favorite best scenario weapon when that's not available to me. Yeah, I'm thinking Sabo destroy shields to back up the uh, the bomber wings. Flux isn't going to be as big a thing on this, but I'll still pop it up there just so I can maintain my shields for longer. But this is just such an... Ugh. ugh. Just that ugh. Alright, but this is what I'm going to be flying myself. Punk. So at this point, uh, unless this pulls down my combat readiness, maximum combat readiness by five. Um, that's all fine. So at this point, I'm going to be able to keep it at 80, which means that we're going to be in the plus three to everything kind of area based on my skills. You want cap for shields. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, we do want cap for shields. Not because uh, we're already over the flux per second needed for shields. Yeah, 100% on that. Quite, quite right. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's our fleet as it stands. I'm the only officer. Much sad, but you know, it is what it is. I could run a simulation. All right. Why are they all so low in combat readiness? I'm not actually sure why that is. Oh, it's because I've rearmed so many of them. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but... I mean, just to give you an idea. Let's just deploy... Yeah, everything is low. Oh, it could be crew, of course. Yes, 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 yes. We need to uh, actually top up the crew first. You know what? We'll do we'll do the uh, crew topping up of afterwards then. Because right now, we need to get Nightbot all set up. And we're also going to be going off on a uh, bit of a tea break. So that means some music, I think. Okay, you're going to just have to put up with the uh, the game music flitting in and out as we roll the winners. All right, let's see who is up first. Boom. Star Mage. There you go. We're going to name Top Down, I think. So Star Mage, the custom combat freighter. Wayfarer class. Are we going to go with ISS? Um, I guess we could do. Oh. His Royal Majesty Z... Actually, HMRVS. His Royal Majesty's Void Ship. Is that a space there? No. Or I can't, you could go with HMRS. Uh, so, no. Uh, or you could go with HRMSS, Starship. No, we'll go with VS because Void Ship sounds more cool. HMRVS, Star Mage. Congrats. The DSS, the Dapper Starship. I like it. I like it. But we'll go with this one. Ass, Avax Starship. I. <sighs> Chat. This is why we can't have nice things. All right, next one. Oh, well, actually, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't get the name of Chat. You know what? Since I didn't demand the the, the points, it's good. We're gonna operate on the monopoly rules of of uh, of. Uh, playing through here. I didn't ask you for the rent before the next person rolled the dice. So, you get that one for free. <laughs> no, that's the way it goes, alright? I am nothing if not honest, okay? I didn't charge you before you got out of the shop with the product. That's on me. That's not on you, that's on me. But, fly not. Your name 
has been paid for by Martin. Very generous of you, Martin. Extremely kind. There we go. <laughs> oh, I, I think we will drop the HMRVS. That's actually a, a bit of a mouthful. We'll just go with HMRS. Uh, HMRS, HRMS. Oh, HMR. Uh, there we are. Fly nod. No, oh, I'll type that with capital. There you go. Star Mage. I wish they they had regular text manipulation in here. But hey, Onomak, how you doing, buddy? I hope you had a wonderful stream, mate. Sass, Sir Avax Stage. <laughs> Now that one's good. I like that. I like I like that a lot. All right, next name. The Unspeakable. Okay, this is good. I'm not sure if we're not going to fit your whole name in here, but I need to see a name in game right now. It'll be HMRS something. Doesn't need to be unspeakable, but it does need to be someone. We need those dapper ducats. I'm doing amazingly well, mate. Thank you very much. At electronic paper, our technology boy. <laughs> I approve. Oh, we've got a couple of name games. Okay, the next couple of names have already done. The HMRS, the unspeakable. Though I kind of feel like the HMRS unspeakable. There we are. Okay, we've got quite a few now. Well done. Let's get uh, and speaker blade paid for themselves. Well done. Always nice to see. Let's roll another one. Trash Panda Panic. You are paid for by Entropic Radar. Such a generous dappling you are. Uh, right. We've now got uh, the wolf. H-M-R-S Trash Panda Panic. What a fantastic name. Now, we're down to the carrier that I, myself, shall be piloting. And this one is... Uh, Sir Ice Mage. I was trying to read that as Siri something. Sir Ice Mage. No. Sir Ice Mage. Paid for by Gina Prime. Sponsored by Gina Prime, one could say. Probably got a, like... So Ice Mage and big bold letters then and a little bit of neon under, under the bottom like sponsored by Gina Prime. Oop. Go. Three more to go. Only one more naming game has currently been paid. We're going to need another two. The bot has a mage bias. It does seem to, actually. Ah, uh, Ferret. I approve. Fitz Omega, you have sponsored a fantastic name. Truly, you have. It shall be the name of our tanker. Uh, for it stashes things. Mostly fuel in this case, but... And Ferret, then, is going to pay for the next one. You're, you're paying forward the, the, the name in-game coverage. That's so kind of you. Right. Next up is going to be our freighter. Another non-combat ship. Let's roll it. Pionard. Oh, I like your I like your uh, your avatar, Pionard. Very cute cat. And let's get you in this. I keep H M R S. What on earth? I've done it at least. Oh, I've done it. At, at, so many people ah gotta go back up here and change it and i can't easily change it because life sucks did i do it on any others no okay yes what okay final one we're going to need another naming game for this one, but this one shall be for our, uh, our Hammerhead. And that will be... That was my childhood cat. He had brain damage, but it was extremely sweet. Aww. I hope you had a very long and happy life, despite the brain damage. Often they can't. 
that isn't even just an idle hope. That that, that there are so many dogs I've known that are, that have just from congenital birth defects and had incredibly happy lives. Right, trash pad panic. You know what, Martin, you got in there first, but I will give you back your points because you've already paid for one. And trash pad panic is is paying paying forward forward. There we go. So. There we go. You've got your points back, Martin. Naming game is now closed. And the final ship of our fleet is going to be the HRMS, not HMRS. Ridiculous spanner. Marvelous. Truly. Okay. So with all of that done, did you do you want a, a simulation, right? Well, first we're going to have to go to crew cargo. We need more crew. Actually, a lot more crew than that. 319 just to run the ships. Yikes. Uh, I'm going to take all of them from here. I can't afford all of them. So sad. Let's uh, put some back then. That will just about cover it. Oh, <laughs> this is such an expensive thing. We've now got medium suspicion, but it's fine. They're not going to be able to prove anything because we have nothing legal on board. People are not illegal. Deco, hey, caught in Havoc stream. Got some catching up on the rim vods, though. See you around, everyone. Take care. Enjoy the vods, buddy. All right, well, let's hope we can get some cash from this because that was bloody expensive to do. But we have got a decent fleet, I feel. Total supplies to finish repairs, 17. Supplies used for repairs, 7.7. .7. Oh, wow, Deco or Decho, I'm, I'm not actually sure which way I need to pronounce it, but thank you very much for the five gift subs as well. Enjoy the stream, everyone. Oh, that's such, that is such a dappling thing to do. I'm not gonna get to watch the stream. I've got to go and do other things, but you know what, everyone else, this is on me. <laughs> Just like wandering into a bar. I was like, yeah, I can't stop. Off the work, but, uh, you know, rounds on me for everyone in the bar. Obviously, you wouldn't do that when it's like, you know, heaving Friday night, but, you know, kind of, kind of, uh, maybe of a uh, lunch break on a Monday. Knowing that half the people there are just gonna have to take, like, water or, or Pepsi or something because it's like, yeah, I'm at work. Ah, this would have to happen when I'm on work. God damn it. Lived my whole life waiting for the, you know, rounds on me, and it happened while I was at work. I'd say a round of tea for everyone. Now that I can get behind. Okay, so... With all of this, we will we do have a little bit of a, a crew buffer, as is mentioned by Malik in there, uh, for fighter losses, but not a great one. We're obviously going to have to do quite a lot to get all of this on the go. Now, it's going to take me 17 supplies to finish all repairs, uh, uh, but we can just speed that up. There we go. Nice and fast. Uh, let's see the dark side bar. Still no one there. Okay, fine. All right, we're off to have a fight then. Right, they're burning to us. They're like, I right, you! Because we had medium suspicion. Attention, your fleet matches the profile of a suspected smuggler posted by Ankira authorities. You're hereby, hereby ordered to submit to a cargo scan. Allow the scan, I've got nothing to hide. After a brief wait, the Hegemony Security Detachment transmits the scan results. No contraband or suspicious cargo found. Commander Min Pate looks vaguely displeased. Hmm. Well... Everything looks clean this time. The comms link is cut before you have a chance to respond. The hegemony forces assume a neutral posture. They're aware of your identity. Use your fleet's transponder being turned on. Indeed, leave. We didn't lose any hegemony, uh, hegemony standing with that one, which makes sense. But 100% going to, uh, to do that one. We, we, we weren't going to mess around. I'm going to approach this from the asteroid belt, I think. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't look like I can, I can chain them together, sadly. All right, let's burn over to the asteroid belt, then we're going to approach slowly through the asteroid belt and try to lure the enemies away from each other. 
How about doing black market naughty things? Never. People are not goods, and therefore I did not trade in illegal goods. Mm hmm. Going dark and entering the asteroid belt. Our scanner profile is 77 normally. Though. Oh, was it 77 already? Um. If it has a sensor profile of 76. Sensor profile mod. Does that let me know what it has been modified to? I don't know. Hard to tell. I uh, want to cancel that. Right, we've got two two uh, fleets here. I kind of want to lure one of them out. So ideally, I want to grab the attention of one while the other is far enough away that it's not going to be spotting me. So let's pop my head out. How far out can you see me now? Breaking orbit. There we go. That's better. We're 308 now, so yeah, 77. Whilst in the belt was fine. Right, we've got just one of them. That's right, come on now. No, 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 no. Come on. That's right. That's it. That's it. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Come on. You know you want it. You know you want... Come here, you. Staying too close to the other one. Okay. Good. Emergency burn. Gotcha. All right. The pirate fleet assumes a neutral posture. Indications are that it's aware of your identity, despite your fleet's transponder being turned off, likely due to having been having seen you recently. I literally don't care. Best fishing mini game. This is the weirdest fishing mini game. The chat is divided. If they suspect you enough, they will have the inspection crew accidentally break. Yeah, no, no. I, I actually mentioned that earlier, Malakin. All right. They do not have the oh actually no degraded engines compromised armor faulty power grid that's good compromised armor faulty power grid that's also good uh, you however the Thor Shepard class uh, frontier drone tender not messed up at all You've got borer drones and mining pod auxiliary slow and not very sturdy this combat modified mining drone is nonetheless capable of keeping hostiles off its mothership for a time. Those are the ones with the the shepherd, but this one is the mining pod auxiliary. Sturdy and uncrewed, the mining pod can provide a bit of distraction and a bit of fire support, and not much else. Incapable of operating away from the mothership. But you don't lose fighters if that one goes down. Okay, moving in to engage. And we're going to continue with our current ship. I say we bring as all of the combat ships. If you click deploy, it'll only bring in the ones that are actual combat ships so my mud skipper the tanker and the freighter aren't being pulled into this fight i mean to be fair these aren't technically combat ships but they're more combat ships than anything else 33 points will be deployed it'll cost us 24 supplies to bring them back all right now from here i can do a couple of things the wolf is moving up right i would like this eliminated Right there. And I would like you, strike support, you're free to engage as you see fit for now. Right, currently my fighters are um, drawn back. I'm happy with that being the case for now. Your deets. Okay, well, it looks like... Actually, okay, we're going to switch over to this one from you. And for the time being, I would like this one to be avoided. Don't worry about that one for the time being. Just go for the, the hammerhead and the drone tender. Right, launch my cruise. Are my units not going to engage? Shields up. Fine. I can sustain this for a while. Though it is applying decent amounts of pressure to me. You know what? Let me just kind of slide to the side so that some of those rockets miss their mark. Dropping shields. Shield up. Ah, oh, damn it. Got hit by the EMPs. Where the rest of my fleet? Oh, this is giving... This has got too strong of an effect. 
That's why they're scattering from it. I, I was hoping that it would just mean they wouldn't care. But it doesn't. It means they scatter. Come on. Shields. Uh-oh. That was me not knowing much about that. Ah, oh, balls. Well, that was going to happen, I suppose, from not understanding how that command worked. Yeah, the problem there is that the the impacts were causing my flux to not drop. So eventually I was just taken out. But they are actually properly engaging now, at, at least. But uh, that was painful. But yeah, danger, danger, Will Robinson, I know, right? Dead in the first fight. It's fine. We'll be able to recover you. I've still got a uh, point, so I should be able to bring you back from that. Problem well, means they're fighting around this thing, which is just dangerous. Yep. My initial plan was to try and uh, remove the ads and then focus on the big one, but the avoid command was way too aggressive. Uh, so I'll bear that in mind in the future, but... Uh, this is kind of why you don't bring a condor to the front lines. The front line came to the condor. I was actually reversing the entire time that that fight was going on. But, as you probably noticed, I couldn't get away. So your sassy comment is countered by facts. Crash Panda Panic. Struggling a little bit with combat readiness, but it's fine. Uh, this thing is almost dead. If if that shield goes down, it dies. There we go. It's a bit better. At this point, my ship should be on the way. Trash Panda is struggling a little bit, but it's fine. Let's go up here and have a proper look at you. Combat readiness at 8.5. I mean, my fleet skills are still helping. On the plus side, the sound effects are amazing. Have our blasts been buffed? Now, which one's going for whom? You're the only one that's still got an engage order on it, so I'm, and I'm happy to see that. Star Mage is reporting that their combat readiness will start falling soon, but it hasn't yet started to. Combat readiness of 65, combat readiness of 65. The wolf is trying to avoid the... the attacking uh, drones there, but it's kind of annoying, but let me see how this goes. Wolf is just completely obsessed with, the, with well, trying not to be hurt, but then just, like, basically allows them to see its backside, which is not exactly the best thing to do. Uh, Alright. Let's say to engage on this one as well, and that should get the hammerhead in there. My pilots are definitely a little bit too cautious, though. I think I'm going to need to give them more aggressive orders. What is the hammerhead doing? Like, I don't quite understand why the ships are being so combat shy right now. I can't remember the specifics, but I think it's a DPS increase. Bigger upfront damage, too, which should make them a bit better against armor. Okay. Why is it the tiniest ships that are actually getting into this fight? Now the hamhead is committing, though. Maybe overcommitting, in fact. I mean, you're going to eventually run out of rockets, but... Let's focus on you. The wolf is just getting... Messed up down there. Kind of why I wanted to take this thing out sooner. But though it's down to 
combat readiness of 44 percent 43 now so it's going to start hurting pretty badly soon but it would have been great to have had my fighter wings in this take care uh, Cecil so long space cowboy oh. that makes me sad remembering the other cowboy people I think they may be out of rockets now. No, they still got them. Reports danger of malfunctions. Okay, well, at this point you can leave then. The others can probably handle this. Or at least I certainly hope they can. But the main target is not going to suffer any continued combat readiness drops. Because it's basically not, not being pressed by anything. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to tell you to eliminate this thing at all costs. Let's get it out of the fight. It's not going to be as capable of avoiding it. And we need to apply some actual pressure onto the other ships, really. Managing your flux reasonably well, I'm going to be honest. You are still pushing quite hard. Where's the th the other ship? Why are you not involved in this? I don't understand why you're not getting involved. I think this battle is is a lot of me trying to work out what's happening with the AI at the moment. imagine the hammerhead could have taken on the cruiser but perhaps not the issue with retreating right now oh dear is that if I do we aren't able to get that carrier back right, you need to not be there anymore I wish the camera wouldn't just fly off whenever I did something like that. Oh well. Oop. Okay, well we've uh, um, removed one problem. Well, actually, no, you're still in. This stage, I guess it's everything is now going to attack. Uh, do we want to throw caution to the wind and just see how this goes down? Steady for me, to be honest, is more for carriers and specialized long range ships. Maybe like an all beam sunder. Yeah, that's kind of kind of the issue that I am definitely facing right now. Is that. My ships are not willing to commit, and that is causing issues. Well, let's actually see if my hammerhead can take this on. If I tell it, look, disregard safety. Just apply death. You're going to need to get out of here. You're way too low now. So this is now a hammerhead versus... Well, actually, you know what? You've punched through. Bring up. Can I not bring that up? No, I can't. I can't uh, see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Doing well, to be fair. I do need you to get in there and fight. Because your combat readiness is now decreasing. Critical malfunction due to low combat readiness. It's fine. It should be far enough away that it's not going to be an issue. Have we seen this hammerhead actually unleash its rockets at all? It's just not committing, which is the worst part of this. Nice dodge. 
I have no idea what the hammerhead's trying to broadside. I really don't. Come on. You can do this. Stop turning to the side. Your shield activates from the front. And it's it's now, you know, severely... Like, at this point, you need to get out just because of uh, the damage. Oh, that was kind of a pain. It may be... Yeah, it, may, it probably is trying to turn its armor to it. That would make sense. Oop. Again, I wish the camera would just stay. Good to be able to get out of there whilst reversing. Did I have a clean disengage check? You can take control, yeah, but I kind of wanted to make sure that it was... Uh, well, I, well, I was going to say, I wanted to see how the AI would act so that I could then better understand how it will act in future fights. Need the command points, is it? Oh, full retreat. Yeah, that's a good point. Order of full retreat. All ships not already retreating will be issued a retreat order. You will not be able to deploy reinforcements or give any more orders. Your flagship can retreat from battlefield by reaching the bottom or the edge of the map. Uh, they're already trying to retreat. So that's not where you can change anything. Does shift speed up time in here? No, it does not. Oh, clean disengage. Forces will be able to disengage without being pursued after the conclusion of this engagement. Ah, okay. Need to destroy, disable force. Okay, that's cool. Sufficient losses in the enemy ship. You will be able to disengage without being pursued. So, I, do I click anything? Or do I just wait? Well, it went half well. Yeah, I did split up the enemy hammerhead so it could get taken out. That our carrier died so early didn't help, of course. Yeah. No, I, what, I, what I learned from this is the effect of the avoid command. I was a, My expectation of the avoid command was... Well, honestly, it should have been my fault for not, not properly paying attention to the name. It was avoid, not ignore. My expected behavior with the avoid command was that it would ignore. Not that... Oh, crap. Combat readiness is too low. So the engines are basically failing. But, um... I think we'll lose the hammerhead now as well. But the consequence of the avoid command basically meant my ships just scattered and my carrier was the only one that didn't because it was under my control. So I was acting the way I thought my ships would act with the, with the uh, avoid command. And so that just left the carrier effectively out in the open. The front line came to the carrier. Uh, retreat. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Okay, well, we lost no ships, but we did wipe out all of their ships, but yeah. Not great. It's gonna. Uh, we lost approximately 130 crew. Yeah, all of the crew that were on that ship. Even discounting CR and missiles, that beast still has two auto cannons and a mining blaster, totally outgunned in the, in the uh, outgunned in the poor hammerhead. Yeah. Okay. Well, disengaged. Not a lot we can do here. The enemy ships are unable to offer pursuit, allowing your forces to withdraw without incident. Now the issue here. Uh oh. We need to not be caught here, but unfortunately we are going to be unless I pop this. We couldn't spool up for the emergency bin. Perform limited emergency repairs. Uh, brings your flagship and a few officer control ships back up to re reasonable combat readiness. We don't have 
I'm actually not in any of the ships right now, which is a problem. Disengage by executing a series of special maneuvers. Let's get out here and go dark. And just duck in here. That went about as badly as it possibly could. Swing up behind them. They're just hunting for me right now. Right, total supplies needed to repair everything. 110. I've got 146. We do have the crew strength to continue to fight, which is thankful. Fleet is running low on supplies. Yeah, I know, right? Now, one of them has just a single ship, and the others are out and about, but it's going to take us 89. Yeah, we can't actually even repair the full fleet before. Because we're also paying to just to maintain the fleet that we have. All being repaired, and it's going to take an age. Okay, we I could have perhaps uh, suspended repairs on some of the lower um, ships, but no, you do not need to uh, fight the pirates. You could possibly sneak in to stabilize the jump point and then go back to the planet to get money. Oh, I didn't realize that. I wasn't aware. Right, well, we can't really do too much at this point, unfortunately. But I would like to see what we could perhaps do with you. Let's see if we can take you out. Uh, okay, that is not the engagement that I thought it was. Oh, wait, no, the other side is joining. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's see. I would have sworn that they were far enough away not for that not to have helped, but... I guess not in this instance. And now we're out of supplies, we'll start dropping corporate readiness. Yeah. Unfortunately, that was our one chance to actually get into the fight. Okay. This is going to be a reload moment. Uh, I actually forget. Is it F9 to reload from the last auto save? Yeah. Let's just make sure that everything has been renamed. Yes, they have. Okay. Right, try number two. Now knowing how that's going to play out. Once we were at zero supplies, even getting back to the um, the base with our combat readiness, just slowly dying, was going to be a rough one. What a terrible premonition! We caught a glimpse into a possible future that no doubt we will we will carefully avoid this time. Let's try and grab your attention over here by yourself. Okay. The hammerhead again. Come back this way. Are you going to emergency burn to me or back the other way? You emergency burn the back the other way. It's kind of annoying, I'm going to be honest. Oh, no, come on. Don't be shy. It'll get. It seems that once they spot what my fleet is, they chicken out. What I might have to do is lure them up here and then pounce. Nope, they're burning straight back away. All right, well, while they're burning away, maybe I can get you. Nope. Come on. I don't want to fight you both at the same time, gotta be honest. Going dark. Oh, they're both turning back. They're being cautious now.
Problem is, I can't fight them when they're close to each other. Kind of need to fight them when they draw just close enough to me. Can I catch you? No, 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 come back, come back, come back. No, you scallywag, come back. Aha! Okay, this is going to be an easier of the fight. We've just got uh, a Sunder, a Shepherd, and a Hound, which I believe actually has a mod that I really like. Shield the Cargo Holds, yeah. I might have been able to use a Signal Burst, yes. I didn't want to use an Emergency Burn to get into a fight because it would drop my combat ready. Which would have been rough. Very rough. Okay, moving to engage. Continue. Deploy all. Deploy. All right. This time. Let's just find out how this battle goes when things don't go awry. Right, we've got the Hound. I would like you engaged. I would like you engaged. Um... I would like you to have a light escort. And me to have a light escort as well. Not sure where you're going. Why are you... Mm. You're just hanging out, I guess. Uh, fair enough. But I'll keep my ships together this time. Don't crash into the back of me! Launch the fighters. Okay, one down. Changing target. Well executed. God, this ship is slow, though. This ship is painfully slow, actually. I'm just going to come up here a second, bring up my info. Was there somewhere? There we are. Info. Fa reloads all missile weapons quickly. Generates flux when used. Okay. Okay. Is there a way for me to tell whether it was just shredded or not? I mean, that one's going to be recoverable. Where's the other enemy? Uh, you two, I would like you to be on... Uh, where are we? Search and destroy. You can be on search and destroy also. You can also be on search and destroy. Oh, the enemy fleet is gone. Okay. Great victory. Disabled or destroyed. Disabled or destroyed. Is there any distinction from this screen that I can see whether someone was simply disabled instead of destroyed? Okay. Well, it, it's only in the... Um, in the info feed, okay. Duly noted. We can get the Hound. Or I can get the Shepherd. We cannot get the other one, but I'm totally okay with just getting the Hound, frankly. Degraded engine, structural damage, degraded life support, erratic fuel injector. Eh. Okay, so. Crew complement, none. <laughs> no crew. Maximum crew, 30. Minus 10. Skeleton crew required, 10. Um... Top speed is down. Having territory. I mean, that's not terrible. The main thing I want this for is simply so it's got the uh, 
the shielded cargo hold. An old but durable hull class that lacks a shield generator. This frigate is sometimes used to ferry cargo instead of for combat duty. A lucky or gifted officer could make his fortune given the chance to obtain one. Um, basically, the shielded cargo hold will give you a, a much better chance of it keeping illicit goods hidden. But the ship is very much a disaster. I'll take it simply because I want one of these. It hasn't got higher maintenance. It hasn't got a higher... Um, uh, lower burn that I can see. It does use more fuel, but it's fine. Okay, got 711 credits. Let's grab a little bit of everything. That's fine. Um, oh, there we are. Repair is complete, but let's shut this one down. I don't want to use any of my crew on it right now. Right, duck back out of the way. Uh, is everything repaired? Combat readiness is almost there. So we're going to duck back in until combat readiness is back up to full. Then we're going to charge out and deal with the scallywags out there. 5.5 total repairs needed. One, two needed. There we go. We're no longer repairing anything. 